Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. In this video, I'm gonna test your knowledge. That is a chronic, chronic diarrhea. Okay, chronic diarrhea due to impaired intraluminal digestion means I'm gonna give you the mucosal changes. You have to tell me the conditions or a disease. Right. So let's start. If there is a total villus atrophy remember it's a total villus atrophy what do you think what would be the what you call the the cause the condition where you see this total villus atrophy yes it's a c d means celiac disease celiac disease right then we have partial Villus atrophy okay what are the causes what are the conditions where you see of partial villus atrophy so it's gonna be yeah remember very important is the malnutrition the malnutrition the food protein sensitivity that is cow milk protein the wheat protein right remember the food sensitivity okay then g lamblia infestation okay immunodeficiency immune deficiency like hiv right then you have what you call tropical enteropathy, bacterial overgrowth, tropical enteropathy, and bacterial overgrowth. Okay. Remember, these are the important causes. Okay, if I tell you in the intestinal biopsy, you got a fat filled enterocytes. Fat filled enterocytes so fat filled enterocytes what is the condition yes it's a beta lipoproteinemia okay and if it's if I tell you villi distorted by actactic lymph lymphatics okay then it's lymph Lymphangiectasia. Lymphangiectasia, right? Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.